Good morning from the Magic Kingdom. I am so excited to be here today. It's going to be a fun day. And we got here right as the park opened. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's all that fun music from the um, like the start of the day show, whatever it's called, the castle show. All right, first order of business. I gotta head over to the mailbox. And then we're gonna have some fun. Now you may be wondering, did I just mail out mail at Disney versus at the mail center of where I live? Yes. So I'll be honest with you. Today was a little bit of a rough start um, getting here as far as magic was concerned. And that reminds me that I wanna talk a little bit about magic here at Disney. Um, there's just a family that was like walking in with me who were just being super hyper critical of everything and it like they hadn't even gotten to the park i'm talking about like just getting on the ferry and that didn't really give me a magical feeling when i started the day but then walking into the park i saw someone propose and that all kind of it made me smile it made me happy so we're back on track for magic and we're headed to adventureland we're behind the curve but it's fine the plan for today wasn't necessarily to try and get on attractions or anything like that. So we're just here to wander around, maybe grab some lunch. So it's okay that we weren't like right at the head of the pack when everyone walked in. And if you're wondering, I did get to the Magic Kingdom parking lot at like 8.30. So still before the park opens, but definitely not early enough to rope drop in my opinion. Now, even though we were not technically here for rope drop or um, here for rope drop in a way that would have been the most efficient, as you can see, the crowds are somewhat non-existent, at least over here so far. Now, it might just be because we're behind everybody, but it also might just be because it's a slow day here. Pirates was a great way to start the day. It was a walk-on, so why not? And there is honestly no one on this attraction right now. Is this going to be an empty day? going to keep making our way around now, and as you can see, still no one here. That's a cast member up there. What is going on? Craziness today. Hmm, I wonder if we should try and get on Splash Mountain. Maybe we ride it again. Hmm, well, it's not too long. There's a 10 minute line for Splash Mountain and a five minute line for Big Thunder. So we're gonna do Big Thunder first, then head over to Splash Mountain. Craziness. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad was a lot of fun. It's not as intense as I feel like I remember it being, but I mean, it's a pretty mild coaster. But for the record, it was a walk on. And now we're about to walk on Splash Mountain. I'm looking forward to doing this again, just enjoying it. Last time I shared it with you guys. So, excited. Splash Mountain is a tricky attraction to talk about because there is so much to say about so many different things. But, but, the thing I'm most confident talking about is how much that attraction needs to be completely overhauled because of how poor of condition it's in. We're gonna talk more about this in the future, but right now, we're going on Haunted Mansion. We're continuing to make our way around the park today and lots of low wait times. I think the highest that I've stumbled upon yet is Seven Dwarves Mine Train, which currently has a 60 minute wait. We're not gonna wait for that. We're gonna make our way through Fantasyland because I don't wanna do like the 30 minute Peter Pan or the five minute It's a Small World. Winnie the Pooh, I don't know what the wait time is for that. We'll check. But definitely not doing 
the 50 minute wait for Mind Train right now. But Space Mountain is a 10 minute wait. So that's up next. And as we start to make our way through Tomorrowland and towards Space Mountain, I did want to take a second to kind of share a little piece of information that I think is important for those of you who are planning Disney vacations and you're in that moment where you're starting to think about dining. There's really no such thing as a bad place to eat at Disney World, whether it is counter service or table service. As long as it fits within your budget and it's food that you will enjoy, you can't really go wrong. Now, of course, this isn't to say that some places aren't better than others. Some places are definitely better than others. And some places will have dishes that stand out above the rest. But I don't really buy into the whole, like, must-do or skippable mentality. Different people have different tastes and different interests, so don't let anyone else drive your vacation. If you want to do something, whether or not someone says it's a must-do or whether or not it's skippable, do that thing. All right, here we are, Space Mountain. Still a 10 minute wait, so let's go. I wanted to tell you about how rough I thought Space Mountain was. It is so rough. But I got distracted. I was thinking about food, and now we're here on Buzz Lightyear. Going for score again. So. Holy smokes! Look at that score! I think that's the highest score I have ever got. Let's see, um, what do we qualify as? All right, the thing says we're a cosmic commando. That's certainly uh, impressive, I can't believe it. All right, we're here on the People Mover, doing a little lap around Tomorrowland. Before we move on from Tomorrowland, we've done basically everything there is to do here. I would definitely do the um, Astro Orbiter, but we're going to skip that for today. First up, Progress City. Lots of work happening on Tron today. Please keep forward facing tentacles clear of oncoming vehicles. Thank you. And over here at the gift shop for Space Mountain. Looking forward to that opening back up. Also, while we're hanging out, I'm trying to, to think right is the if I want to have a snack. Am I going to grab something, and grab one? Board and launch. These are the things I think about for a spin on the people the So we've done just about everything that there is to do. There are a few exceptions, things I just didn't feel like waiting in line for. But you know what's been brewing in my soul? Poor decision making. I need to make a bad decision. And I think we should do it together. So we're headed to Casey's Corner. Let's do it. We play things safe most of the time, not all the time. But today, no, we've had enough of that. So we're going to Casey's Corner to get lunch. I did a whole thing. We've got a drink, we've got our meal. Like I said, let's make some bad decisions. All right, so I told you we're making some bad decisions. We have this, which isn't a bad decision. It's like kiwi cold foam on a black tea slush, which is so good. French fries, that's not a bad decision, but what exactly do we have going on here? This is bacon jam, strawberries, funnel cake on a hot dog. Hmm, interesting. Now I'll tell you right now, this is not something I would have normally purchased. Um, but I've been curious about it. I mean, I can't not. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this, but we're gonna try. Okay. I am going to make a mess. Hmm. 
I've eaten half of this now and I feel like I can share an opinion now that I couldn't share before. First of all, I did need to pull out my handy dandy fork for this. Um, so this feels like it should be weird. Like everything on it, you know, strawberries, bacon jam, funnel cake, powdered sugar on a hot dog seems ridiculous. And I feel like, I don't know, it would be a funner review or funner conversation to have to be like, ew, it's so nasty. But honestly, that's not really nasty or weird. It's just like a hot dog with condiments. I will say, it's a little hard to eat the funnel cake pieces on the hot dog. Um, and the bacon jam does not look very appetizing. You really can't see, but, but it tastes fine. It tastes not unlike any other hot dog that you would, you would eat. It's more like a, whoa, there's funnel cake on that hot dog kind of experience. But I mean, it's good. It wasn't quite a bad decision, just a, an interesting one. Now on the other hand, this, which is like Winifred's like youth elixir with kiwi foam and black tea, that is so good. Like really, really good. I would definitely get this again. All right, we're leaving. We've got our drink. We're going back home. I'll tell you what, today was a great day. It's not something I think you could necessarily replicate because it was like a, a bonus reservation. And this seems to be like a really quiet moment right now. I know that there are some people who will say like, well, this is a low season or whatever. I hesitate to say that right now mainly because since 2020 things have been all over the place so i'm taking you along but don't count on being able to reproduce this well hey it is definitely later in the day it's like hours later i was working on this um, getting it ready to share with you guys and i noticed that my audio cut out so i didn't get a chance to share the rest of our day, which really was just walking to the car, but we were having conversations while I was walking and unfortunately those got lost. So um, here's the situation. I did want to talk a little bit about Wi-Fi and I wanted to talk a little bit more about magic, but I think we should just do that some other time now because, well, I'm, I'm here. I'm not prepared for this conversation, you know? Um, but that's all right. It was still a great time. I hope you guys had a good time with me as well. You know, there's always more conversations to have, so we'll just have to meet up again and have them. But for now, I want to take a second to say, I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. I enjoyed the rest of mine. I'm tired now, but um, this is very reminiscent of our, of our trip videos where we would like hang out right before I called it a night, right? Um, but yeah, I had a great rest of my day. I hope you did too. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all that stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.